time. Niggas is parched and horny. They're like, we love your friends and everything, but nigga, when's you going on? Goddamn. How y'all doing? Shit, doing this shit a month in advance. Shit, I mean, I'll be trying to like blend in with the, with the commoners and shit. And I'm like, I, I work at the bank, nigga. What am I doing up here? Like, just <laughs> fulfilling my purpose. That's what I'm doing, man. Of this shit is crazy. Yeah. Could be, you know, I'm working the bank. And I'm here to let all the niggas know white people got fucked up credit just like us. <laughs> they trying to get overdraft fees. They trying to negotiate at the desk just like us, nigga. This shit is crazy. This shit is amazing. Like, I thank y'all so much for coming out. It's being recorded, so cut it off, Auntie. Hold on, hold on, wait. Because I'm telling you, I, I, I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. I uh, appreciate people coming up, but win, lose, or draw, they don't want you to know there are no refunds tonight. <laughs> Maybe your money's gone. <laughs> May not go well. Take me off live. It's going to get recorded. We're going to need to edit it out. Thank y'all so much for coming. Shit. Seven tickets in this month. Love you too, baby. Seven tickets in this merchandise, man. It's, um, I've reached a newfound of respect for drug dealers because uh, it's a lot of stress that goes into this shit. People hit you with the bullshit on a regular basis. And these young ladies trying to negotiate prices with the pussy. It's ridiculous. I'm tired of it. A young lady hit me up. She said, I don't get the bay discount. I mean, the bay. The bay, I said, what that stand for? The bullshit and extortion discount? Is that what it is? I don't have time for this shit. This shit is crazy, man. Feeling clean. Y'all looking good. Cleaner than fish pussy tonight. Looking good. It's reminiscent of the after door. It's reminiscent of the after door. Shout out to Flim in the building. It's reminiscent of the after door. That shit, I recommend any, I don't recommend any married or committed man to go to any after dark event, because that shit, whoo. It's difficult. It's a lot of pressure. Hard to be a player in there. Cause like you be in there like Bill Bellamy and Dev Jazz How to Be a Player, and you see all your hoes in the same room at the same time. That is stressful. You're like, oh shit, I didn't know she was coming. <laughs> Let me go to the balcony. Oh shit, they up here too. God damn it, fuck. Oh my god. I love the live music, but why are they all here? They're all here at the same time. Lion said they was gonna stay home. <laughs> mm. Shit, man, I'll be doing my thing, man. Trying to be a good man. But that don't get you nowhere. I was a good nigga for like 20 years, and it probably nothing but depression and carpal tunnel. Lots of. Yeah, let that say. Carpal tunnel. Yeah. Lots of lonely nights masturbating. Lonely nights. Trying to be a good nigga. I do respect, fuck all that, fellas, shit. I don't get you nowhere but in the friend zone. Trying to get out the friend zone is like trying to figure out a Rubik's Cube in the dark. Why you on acid, nigga? It's next to impossible. Shit is crazy. Shout out to your host, uh, Deion Davis, 316. That nigga right there. Another one of them indecisive niggas. Don't know what he want, dreads or fade. I need you to pick one. I love him to death, though. That's my security. Like, he, that nigga was really in prison because he hugged you as if he's still on the yard. I'm like, hey. Get off me. I have to stab you. Shit is crazy. Shit is crazy, man. Um, if anyone who knows me, you know um, I'm petty as fuck. Proud of We know, yeah, preach. I'm, I'm an Aquarius. Aquarius in the building. We are misunderstood. We keep making the world go round. They say one of our uh, negative traits as, a, as a, an Aquarius is that um, we're very aloof, like distant, nonchalant, transaction. We don't give a fuck about you and your problems. I got enough going on in my life to be able to take on yours. You know what I mean? It's too much. We don't give a damn. I'm petty. Like, what, what's the pettiest thing you did after a, a, a fight or a breakup? Yell it out. <laughs> the funniest thing. Oh, okay, so we all sanctified and don't do petty shit in here. I said, I ain't doing nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. It's a close proximity. All the lights on. Well, I'll tell you what I did. I'm petty, broke over the young lady, and um, I took the HDMI cords. <laughs> yeah, man, you gotta hit them up. She said, what? Yeah, you gotta hit them up. 
won't be on Netflix and chilling with another nigga. That shit, yeah, HDMI, a fucked up video. Might as well be watching a v VCR when I'm done with you. Yeah, I took the HDMI cords, nigga. I took the, um, I took the dishwashing soap. Yeah, 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 she was a dirty bitch, so I feel she deserves dirty dishes, you know what I mean? She didn't have a dishwasher, you gotta hit them up, you know what I'm saying? She didn't she know, she said, what the fuck? I knew I bought this once. Yeah, yeah, to steal that. I took the sugar, <laughs> table salt, took the sugar. I had to take the sugar because I'm like, you a bitter bitch, so you deserve <laughs> bitter coffee. I'm sorry, I'm petty. I take pride and joy in it. I don't give a damn. <laughs> feeling good, feeling good. You know what? Still want to give honor and glory to God for who he is in my life. You know, he's going to show how to do a lot of cussing. Oh, we got cupcakes on it. We presidential tonight. That's beautiful. Um, relationships. Who, who married? Married or, or, or committed to somebody that makes a noise? That is some depressing shit. God damn, nigga. That was like a delay. Oh! Like when you go watch some games on TV when they do the oh, and it be an old person that be like, oh, yeah, yeah. That was terrible. Commit married motherfuckers. Yes, indeed. Uh, single people. Single. Make some noise. Okay. Okay. That sound like you think you're hearing the cheer of freedom, but that's really the fear of dying alone. Is what you hear. <laughs> Niggas are scared. They're going to get that buried by themselves and cremated and shit. I need a beneficiary, nigga. I need somebody to put on this shit for my legacy. I'm looking for somebody. I'm looking for somebody, Lord. Send me somebody, because the skeezers is out. The hoes is out. They out. Prominent. Another fellow Aquarian, Miss Meg Thee Stallion, fucking up the game. I love her. She's fucking it up for a lot of us. That I wop the wop. You know what I mean? Um, wop as in worship and praise. I wop the wop. You know what I mean? She, and mama don't fuck with Meg Thee Stallion. My mama don't like, she like that. The bitch, all she do is twerk. I don't even think she know how to read. I need substance in my life. The bitch is whack. How much twerking can we do, K1? I was like, a lot, man. What's that woman? She's an entrepreneur. She went to college. Bitch is giving out scholarships and shit. She's trying to help these hoes. I need some substance. I'm like, this is not the 90s, man. Gotta let it go. Substance is not sale. Titties do. Titties and ass. Titties and ass sales. My mom was like, I, I, I ain't fucking with I'm like, that's you, mom. That's you. Let us do our thing. You know what I'm saying? Mom, yeah, y'all saw mom. Nigga, it's hard having a mom. Like, mom had me at 17. I can't take her to church. Nigga, I hear you up here, motherfucker. Shut your ass. Yeah, he's gonna get his check in the mail. This baby's gonna get lost in the mail. Motherfuckers. Nigga was trying to hit you with the slick shit like disrespecting you and your mom. They be like, hey, Kimo, what up, boy? I was thinking about your mama. How's she doing? <laughs> what the fuck did you just say to me? I was thinking about it. You know, all due respect. Nah, nigga, nasty bastard. <laughs> and he was a deacon. We was at Delroy's. Church, you know what I'm saying? Giving honor to God. Like, fellas, you ever seen a woman in church that made you thank God for the wrong reasons? Nigga? I was at a church in uh, Mesquite in Dallas, Texas, D Town. And uh, it was this, it was this red bone in a sundress that came up for devotion. Nigga, I grabbed the usher. I said, hey, that 20 I just gave you, break that up for me. I got a blessing. I got a blessing. I got a blessing. Somebody come up here. You can break the 20 now. We're on vacation. Shit! Sundress. Escape. Give it all to God. 
speaking of church, if your pastor don't cuss, he ain't shit. <laughs> if your pastor don't cuss, then he ain't that good. I just want you to know. <laughs> Mind the friend. I'm not gonna say my pastor's name. <laughs> but he's a bad motherfucker. One of the illest preachers, you can go toe to toe with Bishop T.D. Jakes, and I need to be cussing. Nigga, my pastor told me pussy is undefeated. I said, well, preach. <laughs> so this is a sidebar, because you know I'm VIP. You know what I mean? I hang out with the ministers and shit. He said, pussy is undefeated. I said, well, he will. Talk about it. Pastor, sure. It's undefeated, man. Going off. Yeah, somebody said, speak, young man. Speak. Man, because you know, um, I, in this way I was drinking, man, I lost 40 pounds since last year. 40 pounds on purpose, nigga. I did it on purpose, so no cocaine was involved. No cocaine was involved during this weight loss transaction. It got quiet. Cocaine is making a comeback. You see how quiet it got? Like cocaine is a gateway drug to worse shit. It's a slippery slope. Did you know that? It's a gateway drug to sucking dick. I don't know if you know that. But like if that's your thing, keep coking it up. Do you know? But for me, hell no, hell no. I'm an old school brother. Like I'm, I'm only 26, but I'm still an old school nigga. Like. I, yes, cuz, cuz like, I be having to deal with these hoes who have never seen New Jack City. You ain't seen me doing no Neo Brown is, bitch. Kill yourself. Ain't seen me, don't me, don't know about Joe Clark in the back. They don't know about the new, the, the fair east side. You can't sing the fair east side song, bitch. We ain't got nothing to talk about. Season like that, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I would have an older woman phase, you know what I mean? Like shout out, shout out to my mama's friends who's trying to fuck with me because I'm grown now. They ain't gonna say no names. I'm not gonna drop no names. I'm not gonna drop no names. But it's going down, nigga. It's, it's terrible. It's terrible. You know what I mean? Like I love a seasoned woman. You know what I mean? Because they not, they don't last for two months. Like these young bitches. They don't know what the fuck they want. They don't. These, these older women, though, they like, they, they two peas. Like, they, they want, if you got a penis and a paycheck, nigga. <laughs> we can talk, baby. <laughs> penis and a paycheck, it's nothing at all. Oh, you want some big? Oh, and I work, I pay my taxes? Oh, yeah. Win it. And I'm young and limber, can put shit up, you know what I'm saying? They fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? They have a garage. <laughs> Garages, nigga, and carports and, and gay codes to get into the shit. Ooh. Younger brothers. Younger brothers be like, my mama go to sleep at like 12. Like 12, 15, you know, slide through. Come in the basement, don't say nothing. The older women like shit, nigga, it's unlocked, pull up. Yeah, man. Mom Dukes. I love my mama to death, man. Like, I know it's a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love my mama to death, man. My mama's one of the baddest motherfuckers on the planet. <laughs> like, she left, she's ambidextrous. So, like, when you was growing up, like, some of y'all moms was just right-handed or left-handed. Like, my mom was even-handed. So just, you didn't know which one to catch. Shit, it was, damn, this bitch's right is just as hard as the left. Jesus Christ. I know it's a lot of mothers in here who are the mother and father for their kids. So shout out to y'all. Do that for them, for the moms holding down. No disrespect to the father, but nigga, my mama pulled double duty, nigga. She was my mom in situations, but she was my father in situations too. Like, when I be getting nervous about no stand up, she's like, nigga, who being a bitch? Who <laughs> being a bitch, nigga? Get up there. I'm like, hey man, don't be calling me no bitch. Come on, man. Don't nobody call me a bitch. 
she was like, do you need to act like one, man? Do what it do, man. come on. Let them use you, let them use you. Yes, man. My mom was a goddamn thug, and we went to the, we went to the gun range, nigga, she got excited. She was like, yeah. She was like, pop, pop. She said, yeah, that's my shit. Hey. <laughs> She's having fun in here. <laughs> Too much fun. Why? Why? <laughs> that's why niggas be lying like that, because you know, so my mom now, you know, she, you know, she's older now, you know, in church. She's trying to get into heaven now. <laughs> what? What? No, no, what? 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 No bunnies. I knew someone was gonna be in the building. Mm. I'm in recovery, nigga. I'm in recovery. But yeah, my, but yeah, my, oh, you body, oh, you're not doing my, oh, they still have to put the end on my sister, you're my man. What you talking about? Come, come on, man. Distract me. I checked into a hotel before I came in. Don't start with me. Because I can finish it. Anyway, but yeah, mom's trying to get into heaven, and y'all didn't know, I know. And, 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 you know, me and my sister, we seven years apart, so, so my sister gets a more patient, God-fearing version of mother who takes time and shit, and I was like, that's some bullshit. Because back in my day, I ain't no goddamn tape record. I take it, I tell you one, bam! It was over with, it was over with. Man, my mom was a trip, I love her to death, man. But, my little, uh, my little sister, 19, she dating now. Fuck, she thinks she is. Dating and shit. I met the new nigga, I, I, did, I did it right, I did it bad boys too. They pulled him up like, mom, 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 mom hit me with snake tips. She like, yeah, your sister got a new friend. <laughs> I forgot to tell you. I was like, fuck you, nigga, we talk every day, nigga. Slip your mind and my sister dating a nigga. That's my nigga, that's like my daughter. She used to live with me. That's, that's like my first child. So I'll shoot a motherfucker in the face. About that one right there. And the nigga pulled up, she like, he, and she's like, I like you to meet. I said, where he at? My mom was like, he pulling up right now. I was like, oh, you got, that was a fucked up timing. And I was in a bad mood, so I'm like, I looked him up. He was, he was just a new nigga, like, okay, all right. Mom was like, he, he knows all about you. I said, well, I've heard nothing about you. <laughs> I hit him with a Loretta from my uh, Think Like a Man. Nigga, I've heard nothing about you, Playboy. <laughs> Long ass nails. Is you pimping or what are you doing, sir? <laughs> you <a> the <laughs> Fuck out of here. Man, my sister worked at Hobby Lobby. She needs someone who pays taxes. <laughs> he reeks of drug dealing. It's fuck them until I need a sack, you know what I mean? <laughs> fuck that nigga until I need some kill. You know what I mean? A real, real friend. She was like, no, nigga, no, 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 you know what I Oh, shit. This is going really well. So y'all definitely need y'all money back. Bless your heart. Yes, man, but yeah, I got merchandise, man. $20 a shirt, just wanted to plug that in, man. Put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to the shit. Uh, improve and improv, nigga. Uh, improve and improv, that's all you can do in life. You can improve and better yourself, but it's always gonna come a time where you're gonna have to improvise, you know what I'm saying? Improve and improv. Nigga, I'm dope and I push the envelope. I'm dope and I push the envelope. Push the limits, you know what I'm saying? All gas, no brakes. And the podcast is called A Pinch Too Urban Podcast. A Pinch Too Urban, nigga. The story behind that is a motherfucker. Like, a Pinch Too Urban. So, you know, I've been in this game, I've been in the comedy game for about six years now. Give it up for me. Yes, sir. all this shit is not easy. But yeah, man, I did the competition at the comedy club here, man, a couple years ago. Ripped it down, did my thing, I read my little judge scorecards, and one of the judges wrote on my comment card, he said, Kiwan is a pinch too urban, but hilarious. 
And I said, what the fuck does that mean? Yeah. That was the most subtle, like, Jedi mind trick racism. That was like Star Wars level right there. Like, these are not the races that you're looking for. Like, that's, that was good. It was like, he was like, a pencil. He, he said a pencil. And so, I mean, he had a cap on the amount of nigga he was going to take. And I'm like, just, yeah, just reach that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, turn lemons into lemonade. Pence to Urban Podcast, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So I, was, um, I would advise you to perfect your pussy eating abilities because these lesbians are coming for your job. They're coming for your job. These lesbians are coming for your job like Mexicans, nigga. This shit is terrible. Call in sick from eating pussy one more time, nigga. Call in sick from eating pussy one more time. A lesbian Creole from Set It Off looking bitch is gonna take your shit. So get on it, it's not a woman like he's funny, but it's just, he's not that funny. They come up with your job like a thief in the night. Get your shit together. Shit is I know what I'm talking about. It's terrible. Shit. Shit. Now, I wish I could have seen the look on my face when I told my grandma that's what bitches was doing now. Cause me and my grandma are close, you know what I mean? So we talk and I'm like telling her what's going on. And my granny was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you telling me. On top of you having to worry about the girls fucking with other dudes, they fucking with each other now? I said, yes, grandma, this shit is crazy. She said, we need to pray. We need to pray for you, baby. Gosh, that's too much. That's too much. I said, yes, man, this shit is wild. Man. This shit is wild. I don't know what they want, man. I don't know what they want at all. I implore you all to get out and vote. If you haven't already done so. Get out and vote, man. Shit. Exercise your right. There was a time where it was illegal for us to even do that. So uh, if you just running your mouth and not voting, you're part of the problem. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, well, we're fucked either way. We're screwed either way. I was like, yes, but like, choose which fuck you gonna do. Like, be a man. Be a man and have a say in your fuck. You know what I mean? Like, Joe Biden is like an uncomfortable fuck for the greater good, like a sugar daddy, you know what I mean? Who got a healthy 401k. Ladies, y'all know y'all didn't get a pussy up for the greater good. Stop. You know you have. Cut it out. Cut it out. My sponsor's like, this nigga's wild. But like, Trump is like a rape, you know what I mean? Like, that's, that's like some lifetime shit. Like, so choose, you know what I mean? Like, so be a man and pick your shit, you know what I mean? You want an uncomfortable, Fuck for the greater good or just to get full on rape with no safe word and bleed and shit? Fuck Donald Trump. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I say that one time. But yeah, man, um, tip your waitresses, man. Um, this shit has been amazing. What else I want to talk about? Um, Only fans. I love making bitches feel. I love making them bitches feel bad about Only Fan fans. That shit is so fun, just attacking their morals. They was like, nah, that there isn't anything money. No. I don't like it. Like the nerve of these hoes, man. They be like, excuse me, sir, would you like to pay $14.99 to see my ass and titties? I'm like, I'm like, no. Nah. I was like, who do you think you are? Netflix, bitch? Subscribing to your shit? Fuck out of here. Oh. Mm. Well, I mean it is 10 05. Um, I was third, let's get 30 minutes of both comedy. Shit. Um, and we have a second show coming, and there are more to come here at Borchetti's, man. I fucking love y'all, man. Like, give it up for yourselves one more time, man. To any of my people with the mask, it's a wrap. If you was gonna get it, this nigga's in here still trying to be safe. If you was gonna get it, you got it now. Let it happen, fuck it. Like, oh, no, no, man. Like, no, fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. I was like, just. Just be kind to one another, man. Like, life is short, and um, God has a sense of humor based off the niggas that he's called home and left us with, you know what I mean? <laughs> Took Kobe. We still got our Kelly. You know what I mean? Shit, our Kelly. Our Kelly's upset at prayer. That nigga's stressed out. He getting all kind of musical press and shit. And getting raped on top of that. It's bad. <laughs> White dudes is kicking his ass in prison. This shit is crazy. Well, um, shit. My name is Kiwan Moses, Wichita native, sold out Borchez a month in advance. Doing a motherfucking pandemic. 